Hello, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. China's fourth crew has reached the national newly completed Tiangong space station. A long march to F rocket topped with the Shenzhou 15 spacecraft lifted off from Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert on November 29. Spacecraft separation occurred some 10 minutes later. Fei Chulong, the mission commander Deng Qingming, and Zheng Lu arrived at the Tiangong space station five hours later, as Chinese space officials announced. The Shenzhou 15 mission marks the start of full operations aboard Tiangong, with the conduction of more than 100 experiments using 24 specially designed science cabinets installed in the new Wing Tian and Main Tian modules. Three astronauts aboard the Shenzhou 15 spacecraft were greeted on Tiangong by the Shenzhou 14 crew Cheng Dong, Li Yang, and Kai Su Zhe, who have spent the past half year in space helping construct the space station. The three new astronauts will take control of the completed T shaped Tiangong space station, which received its second and third modules in recent months. Fei Zhulong, 57 years old, was selected as one of China's first-generation astronauts in January 1998 and made his first and so far only trip to space in 2005 as commander of the five-day-long Shenzhou 6 mission. He is returning to space after 17 years. Deng Qingming, 56 years old, is the last active member of the first generation of astronauts to get his first ride into outer space. The third crew member, Cheng Lu, 36 years old, is part of China's second batch of astronauts, which were selected in May 2010. He is also making his first trip to space following 12 years of training. Also, we are the oldest crew in terms of average age. We are confident in our capabilities as we are still in the state of use, Fei Zhulong said during November 28 press conference. On November 12, China launched the Tianzhu-5 cargo spacecraft, which delivered around 11,000 pounds of cargo and materials to support the Tianzhu-15 crew for their mission. The space freighter also carried 3,000 pounds of propellant to help the space station maintain its orbit. Meanwhile, the Shenzhou 14 crewmates will be preparing for their journey home after overseeing the arrival of two new modules and conducting three spacewalks and other activities. They are expected to touch down near the Jiuquan Launch Center in early December. Shenzhou 15 is the final mission of 11 launches planned to construct Tiangong and bring it to full operation. Thousands of institutions and companies, as well as researchers and engineers, were involved in the constructive work. China's completed Tiangong station is about 20% as massive as the International Space Station, according to Chinese space officials. The country aims to keep it permanently occupied for at least a decade and is looking to develop commercial and tourist missions to the orbital outpost. Tiangong could become the only crew space station in orbit after the ISS is decommissioned around the end of the decade. Space Daily News. Like, share and subscribe.